Hello everyone, this is Dr. Isha Yadav, working as professor in Department of Pharmacy at Excess Colleges. The topic which I am going to discuss today is hypertension. With the term hypertension, the first of all question which arises in the mind of all of us is that what does this word actually mean? Why the world is so much concerned about this word hypertension? So hypertension is nothing, is the blood pressure. We all are using this word in our day-to-day -day life that blood pressure has increased, blood pressure has decreased. So this is the blood pressure only. So as the name itself says, that is blood. Blood we already knew and the pressure, that means force. So blood pressure is the force exerted by the blood. Who is going to exert this pressure? Blood is going to exert. Where it is going to exert this pressure, where it is going to apply? It is going to exert this pressure on the walls of the blood vessel through which it is traveling. For an example, this is the blood, blood vessels, arteries and veins which are known as the blood vessels. These are the blood vessels which are carrying the blood. So when the blood is going to travel through this, what is going to happen? It is going to exert pressure. When the condition of hypertension is going to be there, it is going to apply pressure on this wall. So when it is going to apply this pressure, what is going to happen? A pressure is going to increase and this condition is known as the condition of hypertension. Hypertension condition, as we can say, hypertension is the condition in which the range of the blood is going to increase by 140 or 100. So this is the condition which is now known as the condition of hypertension. Earlier this range was 120 by, a 120 by 80 is known as the normal range. Normal range is what? 120 is the systolic blood pressure, 80 is mmHg is the diastolic that is the down blood pressure. Nowadays 130 by 90 if a person is having blood pressure that is the normal condition and it is due to why? Because due to the change in our lifestyle, we are taking high cholesterol rich diet in our day to day life, smoking, drinking, stress etc are the condition due to which the range of this has been increased that is if a person is having a range of 130 or 90 that is a normal condition but above this 130 and above this 90 range it will be counted as a condition of hypertension or we can say that an increased blood pressure. So, there are basically two types of hypertension. We can categorize this hypertension in two types. One is the primary hypertension. Next is the secondary hypertension. Primary hypertension, almost 90% of the population is suffering from the condition of primary hypertension. Like where the reason is unknown. We are not aware why the condition of hypertension is arise. That condition is known as primary hypertension. It may be due to any of the reason. It may be due to the condition of stress, it may be due to the genetic, it may be due to our lifestyle, it may be due to the sleeping, etc. habits of our. So, where the reason is not known, we are not aware why we are suffering from this hypertension, that is known as the primary hypertension. And secondary hypertension, when the reason is known, we are well aware that why we are suffering from the condition of hypertension. So, how we can definitely know about that? So, for that, when a person is suffering from the disease or the renal impairment or the kidney failure, any of the disease. So, in that condition, automatically the pressure of the blood is going to increase. Kidney is the main excretory organ in our body and when it is not going to eliminate waste out from our body, what is going to happen? That waste is going to accumulate in our body itself and when it is going to accumulate in our body, it is going to increase the volume of blood and when it is increasing the volume, it is going to increase that pressure on the vessels and automatically a condition of hypertension is going to arise. Next is what? That is diabetes. Diabetes, if a person is suffering from the condition of diabetes, same, a renal impairment may arise and it is going to increase the blood pressure. Next, autoimmune disorder. Auto means self. So, the immunity of the body, if it is not working properly, that is also going to increase the condition of hypertension and when we are, because we are aware about the reason, therefore, it is known as secondary hypertension. Only 5 to 10 percent of the population suffers from the condition of secondary hypertension. Otherwise, rest are suffering from primary hypertension itself. Now, as you can see in this flow chart, this is the flow chart which is explaining how the condition of hypertension is going to arise. I already explained like kidney. Kidney is what? It is the main excretory organ. It eliminates the waste out from our body. So, when the kidney is not going to function properly, where the effect is going to be seen? It is going to be seen at the process of excretion. 
the waste material is not going to be eliminated from our body properly. When it is not flowing out from our body properly, what is going to happen? It is going to accumulate inside our body. That means venous return. It is going to return in the body itself. So, what it is going to do? It is going to increase the cardiac output. Cardiac output is going to increase. Cardiac means heart because the venous return has done pressures on the walls is there. So, the heart has to work more. The output is going to increase. So, when this output of the heart, heart's work is what? It is go, its work is to convert deoxygenated blood into oxygenated blood. So, when it is converting, it is having lot of volume to convert because due to the improper excretion process, what is going to happen? The lot of is going to come out the vessels. So, it is going to increase the pressure on the blood pressure and this condition is known as the condition of hypertension. Next is the causes of hypertension. What can be the reasons why the condition of hypertension arises? So, as already discussed, there are many conditions why the pressure, why this hypertension arises. It may be due to the obesity, it may be due to the smoking, diabetes, a person is suffering from a condition of diabetes, stress, if we are taking a lot of stress in our life, that is also going to increase hypertension. Everyone might have suffered through this condition. Salt in diet, if we are taking a high intake of salt in our diet, that is going to increase pressure. Next is what? Kidney diseases. If a person is suffering from any kind of renal impairment or kidney diseases, improper functioning of it, automatically it is going to increase the condition of hypertension. Endocrine disorders. Endocrine disorders are the disorders of our endocrine system, the various glands or hormones which are being produced, if they are not going to function properly, that is going to produce the condition of hypertension. So, these are the causes for this. Next is what symptoms, how we are going to identify that a person is suffering from the condition of hypertension, how we are going to analyze that. So, for that, as we can see, if a person is suffering from a condition of fatigue, a person is feeling tired all the time, is not working properly. So, if a condition of tiredness is there, that is a condition of fatigue. Headache. Next one is irregular heartbeat. Heartbeat is not proper. Sweating. A lot of sweat is coming out from the body. That is also the discomfort condition. So, that is maybe the condition of hypertension. Vision changes. A visualization power of the person at the time of hypertension also changes. So, these are the symptoms by which you can identify a person is suffering from the condition of hypertension or not. Next is diagnosis. A very important point, diagnose that how you are going to check, how you are going to check a person is suffering from hypertension, the tests which are to be performed. So, there is a blood test, we can go for the blood test, we can go for the electrocardiogram, we can go for the echocardiogram, urine analysis and the ultrasounds of the kidney. And by going all through all these tests, we can identify a person is suffering from this condition of hypertension or not. Next one is pathophysiology. Pathophysiology means how the hypertension condition arise in our body. So, for this, we are going to start from the very first point that is the risk factor. Risk factor means the various factors which are responsible for increasing the blood pressure in our body. So, the various factors are like, it can be a diabetes mellitus, diabetes mellitus is nothing, this is the common diabetes. Next is what? Family history. If a person in our family is suffering from the condition of hypertension, there are the chances that the generation is going to suffer from the condition of hypertension. Next is what? Age. Yes, age is automatically a, the condition for raise of blood pressure. Obesity, if because if the surface area of the body is going to increase, it's automatically going to increase the pressure also. His stress, if we are going to take a stress in our life, it is also going to increase the pressure because stress is already increasing pressure inside us. This pressure is automatically going to increase in our vessels, blood and the force exerted is automatically due to stress. Is smoking, yes, this is one of the reason for the, that is hypertension condition. Like by all these pathof risk factors, all these, any of the factor can lead to the process or and any of the factor can lead to the hypertension condition. So, like for an example, high intake of sodium, saturated fats and alcohol. If a intake of sodium is more in our body, we are consuming alcohol, we are smoking, drinking, etc. Any of the reason can be there, which are lead to what? 
which had lead to kid renin into our body kidney releases one of the hormone that is renin into the blood stream renin is an enzyme hormone which is released by the glands and which are responsible for the release of aldosterone which construct the vessels of our body so kidney what is happen if you are taking a high intake of sodium in our body smoking etc any of the risk factor automatically kidney is going to release renin renin is going to release what is going to happen renin converts angiotensin 1 in liver renin is getting converted into angiotensin 1 with the help of a angiotensin converting enzyme so next what is going to happen this angiotensin 1 which is present in liver is going to convert into angiotensin 1 is going to convert into angiotensin 2 so what will be the process when the sodium rich diet is going to be taken kidneys are going to produce more of renin renin what is they are going to do they are going to increase that they are going to produce angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 1 is going to convert into angiotensin 2 with the help of angiotensin converting enzyme as you can see angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 where it is going in lungs so due to this in conversion of angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2 what is going to happen the aldosterone is going to increase aldosterone is a hormone which is secreted by the adrenal glands which are present above the kidneys and which are responsible for the constriction of the vessels constriction means narrowing of blood vessel when the space is narrow obviously the blood has to apply more of the pressure to pass on through and that is the condition of blood pressure so aldosterone what it is going to cause it is going to increase the retention of water and sodium in our body more of the water and more of the sodium is going to retain is going to stay in our body with why because due to the aldosterone aldosterone has came due to the renin which is released by the kidney due to the high intake of sodium and next what is going to retain sodium and water increase blood volume obviously the retain the accumulated sodium and water which is to be excreted out from the body is going to increase the volume is going to increase the volume what, what that is blood so due to all these reason what is going to happen the arteriolar construction increases peripheral vascular resistance due to the aldosterone vessels got narrowed volume got increased due to the retention of sodium and water etc so the volume has increased constriction of the vessel force will be applied more when the force is applied that is the condition of hypertension so this increased blood pressure and vascular resistance lead to the condition of hypertension so this is what this all these condition leads to hypertension now how we can go for the treatment first of all for the treatment process we had to change our lifestyle we had to reduce the intake of sodium in our body we had to change the eating habits so far the cholesterol rich diet has not been allowed we had to skip all these junk foods etc because if the cholesterol is going to increase in our body it is going to deposit in our body it is going to increase the bad cholesterol in the body and the good cholesterol won't be able to take them out of the body so it is going to deposit going to narrow the space of the vessels and automatically it is going to lead to the hypertension so to treat that what is to be done the cholesterol rich diet is to be avoided is stress not at all to be taken because the stress is also leading to that so first and primary way of treating the hypertension is that we had to change our lifestyle eating habit sleeping habit everything we had to change we can so all those primary conditions of the hypertension we had to first treat by ourselves only for that any medicine is not been required suppose if they are not getting treated by that so what we can do we can go for the treatment with the help of medicine we can go for the alpha blockers renin inhibitors because if the renin is going to be inhibited the what is going to happen the angiotensin 1 is not going to convert into angiotensin 2 and if this is not going to get converted the aldosterone will not be produced if aldosterone is not going to be produced the vessels are not going to get constructed and when the vessels are not getting constructed that means a proper space is available sodium and water retention is not there proper flow of blood will be there and the condition of hypertension won't stay so renin inhibitors plays a very important role we are going to inhibit renin vaso dilators vaso vaso means vessels dilators means to expand if we are going to take these vaso dilator they are going to expand the vessels vessels and when the space is more the volume the pressure of the blood is automatically going to be down next one is calcium channel blocker 
so all these are the ways by which we can treat the condition of hypertension so this is all about the topic of the hypertension thank you